If you had a prescription filled, you might want to go check your medicine cabinet because it might have the wrong drugs in it. You know what? It happens more than any of us would ever know. Why? Because when a pharmacy makes a mistake with your prescription, it can be kept secret forever. It's a story we broke on the Fox 19 Now app tonight. Investigative reporter Jody Barr joins us with more information on this loophole. Well, Robin, Tricia, it is a problem that's sweeping the country. The FDA says at least one person each day dies in the U.S. over medicine errors and another 3,500 are injured by the same way. Now, there's one man here in Cincinnati who says it happened to him. It was a mistake that nearly took his life. And this is his kidney. Carmen Cruz's dining rooms turned into a dialysis clinic. It happened three years ago after she says this Kynard Avenue Kroger made a mistake. The pharmacy, she says, put the wrong drugs in her husband's medicine bottle. Well, the prescription says Lobetalol. This is his blood pressure medicine. Those pills looked just like his blood pressure meds, but it wasn't. And I called the pharmacist and I, they identified it as Lelotrogene. It wasn't Lobetalol, it was Lelotrogene. And they told me that it was a psych seizure medication. Within days, Randy Cruz was in the ER. A couple more days, he says, he would have been in the morgue. I believe I saved my husband's life. I've been getting my medication from Kroger's for some time, and I trusted them. When they told me if I uh, hadn't have got uh, uh, to the hospital and, and uh, rehydrated and everything, when I did, you know, there was a great possibility that I could have died in the next day or two. Cruz was already suffering from mild kidney disease before taking the pills. His doctor told him the meds Kroger gave him damaged his already compromised kidney, pushing it into stage five kidney disease by the time he left the hospital. To live, his doctor told him he'd need a kidney transplant or 12 hours a day dialysis. Until a kidney is found, it's dialysis at $70,000 a month. They absolutely wiped out his kidney because we weren't thinking that it was that serious that he would actually end up um, four weeks, three, four weeks later on dialysis. The crews say they tried for a year to have Kroger make it right. Then, one year to the day the prescription was filled, the crews sued the Kroger company. At any point did you ever get an apology from Kroger, an acknowledgement that, you know, hey, we, we made a mistake, let's make this right? No, I didn't at all. Is that what you expected? At least. The pharmacist who checked off on Cruz's prescription was deposed in the lawsuit last April. Court records show the pharmacist admitted three steps that were designed to keep mistakes like this from happening did not catch the error in this case. Plus, the pharmacist testified her pharmacy did not have a clue a mistake had happened until the Cruz told them. What are the responsibilities of the state of Ohio and pharmacies, dispensaries of prescription medication to report when they make a mistake? Well, under current law, there aren't requirements. State Pharmacy Board Director Stephen Shearholt says pharmacies do not have to tell state regulators when they make a mistake, meaning potentially thousands of dispensing errors are kept secret. It's the same in Kentucky and Indiana. Neither state requires pharmacists to report mistakes. If those are not followed, though, still, the state of Ohio would have no idea that something had happened unless they're told that by the pharmacy or the, the patient. Correct. That just didn't make sense to the crews. Would it surprise you if I told you that Ohio pharmacists are not required to tell anybody that they had made a mistake? Yeah, it would be surprising. It, that seems uh, immoral. Do you think that's good enough right now? Well, I, I think it certainly is... Uh something that ought to be looked at and, and we intend to do so. Well, you heard it right there. The Ohio Board of Pharma Pharmacy is looking at mandating, again, that pharmacists report when they make mistakes. Kroger, though, would not talk about the Cruz's case, but told us in a statement the company has rigorous pharmacy management systems and are committed, they say, to accuracy in dispensing. So, Jody, if no one's required to report the errors, how does the board ever find out about this in the first place? Well, it's because either the patient, some cases the pharmacist, or someone in that pharmacy 
calls the Board of uh, Pharmacy and tips them off. Now, that leads to an investigation. 41 cases, though, last year shows the board is disciplining pharmacists for errors, but the pharmacy board shows $40,000 in fines against Ohio pharmacists last year. But again, they only found out about those cases because someone tipped them off. All right, Jody Barr reporting live tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.